Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Jason Bell with B and B Metal Designs. So today we'll be going over bay window order form. So previously we have gone over how to measure for your bay window, and this is the order form that you would take with you during those measurements. So the first thing that we're going to do here on our order form is indicate whether or not this is going to be a quote or an order. From there, we're going to fill out the basic information for our company, such as the company name, your name, due date, email, etc., and a few other little things. So first off, we're going to do our company name. Then from there, we're going to do the order date. Our turnaround time is typically two weeks, 10 working days. So for this order, we're going to put 9-30-17. The name who is ordering it, so that's John Doe. The email address for the individual who is ordering it, or the accounting email address. Next, the phone number for your office. And then if there is a fax number, you can write that down, but typically we don't have faxes anymore. But then from there, we're going to pick whether or not we're going to have this delivered, installed, picked up, or shipped. If you're delivering, we would do this in Nashville, Middle Tennessee area for free. Install would be a preferred installer around town. You can have pickup and shipping via UPS. From there we want to get a side mark to know which client this is. For this one we'll put Anderson and then also a delivery address in case you want us to deliver this for your client. Please write clearly so that we can read all of your handwriting and then from there we will go down and start writing in our information for the actual bay window. If you notice we have spaces A, B, and C, E, and F. We will start with spaces A, B, and C. These should be measured in inches and should be measured to the nearest 1 16th. So space A is 35 and a quarter. You can use the space to the left to write that in or write within space A. Secondly, we will go to space B, and that measurement is 103 sixteenths, and space C is 36 and 3 eighths. Now that we have all of our rod lengths measured and written down, we can go to spaces E and F. E and F should be measured in degrees and should be measured to the closest single degree. For space E, we have 120 degrees. For space F, we have 121 degrees. From there, since we have all that written in our diagram, we can start taking our order for the rods themselves in the hardware. We will start with the rods, which our item number for that is 100 R for our one inch standard round rod. Our quantity will be one, length will be 35 and a quarter, projection is unnecessary, finish will be English brown, the room is the dining room, and then from there we will go to space B, which is in the center, that length or item is 100 R again quantity is 1 length is 103 sixteenths projection is not necessary finish is English brown and the dining room and then from there we will go to space C which is item number 100 R quantity is 1 length is 36 and 3 eighths no projection finishes English brown, room is the dining room. At this point I will use the special area to indicate the space in which each rod will go. So for this one we'll put in space A, 
then space B, and then space C. So now that we have all the rods taken care of, we will start filling out the rest of the order form for our hardware, which is our brackets first, and have indicated six of those in each of those spaces. So it's item number BR135. Our quantity will be six. Length is unnecessary. Projection is three and a half inches. Finish will be English brown. The room is the dining room and no special instructions are needed. Next we'll be determining our finials. For this rod we have two options. We have two finials. Item number will be end cap. Quantity will be two. No length is needed. Projection is unneeded. Finish English brown. Dining room there will be no special instructions for this as well. And on this order, I do want to have wands. Now I want to have two in each of those spaces so the panels will center draw on each rod. The item will be wand, quantity will be six, length will be 48 inches, projection is unnecessary, finish is English brown, room is the dining room, and there are no special instructions for this. Lastly, we'll be doing our rings. I want 12, 24, 36, and 48 rings. Each of those areas indicated. Item number is 880-15. Quantity is 48. Length unnecessary. Projection unnecessary. Finish is English brown in the dining room. And again, there were no special instructions for there. Once we have completed that portion of the order form, there is a space below for special instructions. This is where you could draw out a five-sided bay or any other special instructions that you may need. But if there are no special instructions, you're more than welcome just to give us a happy note of thanks and a smiley face. And have a good one.